The Hampton Mansion, owned for 165 years by the Ridgely family, is preserved as a piece of American history. On the property are two original stone slave quarters. Ranger Anazi Semfo says they survived because they are well built. But these were built for aesthetics. The third mistress here, Liza Eichelberg, originally, she comes back from France and she wanted her farm to look pretty like it did over in France. The Ridgely estate became home to hundreds of enslaved people until slavery was abolished in 1864. But not just Africans. Until the 1800s, the Ridgely farm also used European indentured servants. They treat those Europeans the same way they treat the Africans. Um, they're walking around with the iron collar around their necks. When they're being punished, they're being whipped, wearing the same clothing. On display at the Hampton Historic Site are replicas of some artifacts. The iron collars with bells used to keep tabs on slaves, the whips used for punishment, and the chains they wore while being transported. This is like any other slave plantation, what you heard on every, went on every other plantation went on here. And that's documented. A few months before his death in 1829, Governor Charles Carnan Ridgely manumitted or freed some of his 350 slaves, but only women between the ages of 25 and 45 and men between 28 and 45. This is over 30 years, so some of the people who go free over those three decades aren't even born yet. So the way he wrote his will, slavery never would have ended. So it's not just great manumission. And also, this manumission breaks up families. There's really nothing benevolent about it. It's very self-serving. What he's doing, he's making sure his heirs get the most productive years of these people's lives. After emancipation, the number of workers dwindled until the estate was sold in 1948. Ranger Anazi Semfo hopes visitors will take one big message away from a visit to Hampton. We have more similarities than we have differences. We as a people, people of European and African descent, if your family has been here more than 200 years, chances are somebody was either indentured or enslaved. In Towson, Kim Day, CWVAL TV 11 News. Now you can visit the Hampton Mansion and the Slave Quarters Thursday through Sunday of every week. They have special events scheduled, especially for Black History Month on Sundays. We posted a link to more information in the WBAL-TV mobile app.